look at y'all. So I'm fully aware how this looks, but I promise you it's not that bad. Things are actually kind of organized. Somewhere around here we've got shirts gathered together, skirts elsewhere, maybe dresses back there. I don't really know, but there is some sort of like organization to this chaos. It's kind of just been accumulating for the past maybe month it is not because i'm depressed so at least there's some good news out of this it's just that i've been so busy sundays are usually my deep cleaning days but obviously it has not been happening and you could only imagine how hard it is to choose outfits so i'm going into this cleanup with a very different approach just because i collect it doesn't mean it's gonna stay so if it's a corset if it's digital floral print and it's never ever been worn is gonna be listed onto whatnot. And we'll talk about whatnot a little bit later, but grab your snacks, grab your drinks. We are in for a long ride. So I guess let's get started. We're gonna start off with everything outside of my closet first, and then eventually we'll make our way in. To be fair, not all of this clothes is mine. Some of it is also Arthur's, but okay, this is our first one. I already know I love her, I wanna keep her. So we'll just start a little shirt pile over here. I see another shirt. I wore this literally yesterday. It's an IMG a piece. It's kind of this crop top, faux leather, and this really pretty green color. Love wearing her during the spring. Oh my gosh, even with the top that I have on right now, because it's green, it's fishnet, that would be super cute. So love her. I got this in a mystery bundle from Rag Junkie. And back when I got it, I wasn't able to fill the cups, but now I've gained a little bit more weight and I fit the cups perfectly. So she's totally staying so I can have my Tinkerbell moment. We have our first item that's going on to whatnot. This skirt right here. This is, okay, it's made in France. It's Maje, Madge. I do really like this, but I've only ever worn it one time. And I think I even have a photo of it. If I do have it, I'll have it somewhere up on the screen. But even that outfit wasn't that cute. It was just kind of basic and very lazy. And I would rather have mini skirts in my wardrobe. So we're getting rid of her. Okay, we have another one that I'm gonna let go. It's actually a recent thrift find. I even took it to Paris. It just fits me a little too big, so my figure gets lost. It's also a little bit too modest for me, just because, look at this neckline. It is so damn high. I need a little plunge, not like a deep one. I'm just asking for a little, little tiny dive. But what I mainly love were these damn cherries because it was giving Betsy Johnson. And this is a vintage piece too. It's Ronnie Nicole, made in Mexico on a paper tag but it's time to let her go. This is a lace skirt that will never, ever leave my wardrobe. It's so good for layering and also just wearing alone. So we're gonna make sure we create her own little pile. <gasps> a sweater, it's honestly too hot in LA right now to be wearing sweaters. I think it's already the end of October and it's so damn hot. We're still in like the high 80s. So I haven't had a chance to wear this, but this one is so good. I also did drop just a little bit of money because this is a small business that I found on Instagram and I've been to a few of their fashion shows and it's just so fun. So if you want a small business to support, I'll put them right here and also down below in the description. Oh guys, I feel like all of my clothes has so much sentimental value because this was given to me by Really Mia Click. She included it in my mystery bundle. I love wearing this just when I wanna be comfy, don't really have anything to wear. Oh, look at this one. Yeah, I've never worn her before, but I will soon, I promise. I'm gonna be going to Vegas, and maybe it'll be my first time in a club, and we're gonna sparkle so much if we wear her. We've come to something that I collect. I love to collect halter necks that have this wire detail. I got this from Sky High Vintage off of her Instagram maybe. It has a paper tag, made in USA. It's the brand Rave City, which is one of my favorites. And like, come on, just look at this. It's such a cute shirt. The thing is, it doesn't fit me. It just fits a little too big. So we are gonna let her go. I did spend quite a bit of money on her. I think it was like maybe 25 bucks. And I know that's not like a lot of money, but like just compared to thrifting, to me, that's a lot. Here's another one that I'm gonna be saying bye to. This has been in my closet like for a freaking century. Okay, I know it looks super confusing because there's a lot of ruffles and strings going on, but this is a pink label Victoria's Secret. It's a size small. 
I thrifted her and I just thought she gave very, very ethereal and romantic because of the ombre print. But she has not had her moment. She's never even been styled. So off to whatnot. gonna toss them in there for the time being but okay let's talk about this one there has to not all instagram shops are scams right there has to be at least one good one out of the thousands that exist but this was a fail i got this off of some small instagram shop that was sponsored i thought it was gonna be so cute but honestly i think it might be a ripoff of a design from Urban Outfitters because literally the other day when Arthur and I were walking back from a Neon Trees concert We passed by an Urban Outfitters. I saw this mannequin. You know what? I'm gonna go back and just take a video of what I saw because the mannequin was wearing something so similar to this and I was just like Wait, why does that look so familiar and why does it look so much better on the mannequin than whatever the heck this is? So if anybody wants to test their luck and pick that up I'm going to whatnot. Oh, another The Mountain t-shirt. Because of Arthur, I have so many. So it's time to let a few go. This one with a whole bunch of little puppies on it. Needs a new home. I'll keep the one with the kittens. Oh, pants. Pants are always so tricky. I picked this up at, I think it was a rag house. These are vintage. It's Solo Seymour. I mean, these totally give an awesome fall vibe. It's just, okay, I know I'm wearing high-waisted pants right now. These are a little too high-waisted for me, especially with my belly button piercing that's still freaking healing. Oh my gosh, I don't even remember where I got this shirt. I just know I've had it for like, maybe four or five years. Oh, I never wear this. I don't even know how it's on the ground right now, but we're gonna get rid of her. Oh, I love this skirt. Another piece from Really Mia Click. This one just has so much detail. Kind of gives me trip vibes, only it's not trip. Oh my gosh. Not me getting ready to throw this into the whatnot pile and I just smeared lipstick all over them. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'll try to clean that. I got this during a vlogmas when cargo skirts were like barely popping off and I love this color and this cargo style. We also have this cute little pocket with a zip closure. The only reason why I kept it and I didn't put it into the giveaway for vlogmas is because the stitching is coming undone where the vent is. I think I've had this in my closet for two years. Two years thinking, oh, it's a cute piece. I'll wear it eventually. Nope, never have styled it. I'm a little torn about this. This was a piece that I purchased from Bloomy. The thing is that it fits me a little too big. So it does fit low waisted, but sometimes to the point where I need to eat a really big meal first so that they actually fit. So oh, we'll see if anybody wants them on whatnot. If not, I'll just put them right back into my closet. this progress we're doing so good there's so much more floor now I can actually just slide around okay we have a few accessories these belong to pants so I don't know where the heck the pant is it has to be in here somewhere but it is looking like a smaller pile for sure here's a skirt that I was trying to fit into but it just still fits me a little bit too big and I don't feel like it's the most flattering on my body because it does kind of slip down a little bit. But oh my goodness, she's so good. She's so shiny and sheen. And I like the brown actually, perfect for fall. Oh my goodness, I remember this one. This is Fredericks of Hollywood and you guys know I love collecting a lot of their lingerie. 
And look at how beautiful this one is. It's just the damn underwire cups. If it has underwire, it probably won't fit me. So I don't know what I was thinking with this purchase, but it's literally so pretty. Almost similar to that white one, only this is like the alt dark version of it. Very romantic, just doesn't fit me, so it's going on to whatnot. Oh, we're gonna let go of this one too. I took it to Paris wanting to wear it there, but I never got to doing it. And now looking at it, I think it's very outside of my style. She is super cute, but she's a little too cottagecore, too picnic-y. So we're gonna pass on her. Oh my gosh, okay. I know I'm making no sense. These scream cottagecore, but they're bloomers, so we have to keep them. I have so many questionable pieces in my wardrobe. Like, why do I have lace leggings? Okay, actually, no, that makes sense. The only thing that doesn't make sense is look at this ultra, ultra skinny, slim fit leg. I don't know what I was thinking with these, so we're gonna let those go. Quick little sneak peek at my Halloween costume for this year. I got this from Whatnot, and guess who I bought it from? She's a famous YouTuber, Rosanna Pensino. I can't believe I purchased something from her. looking everywhere for this bear clip. I can't believe it was under all of this clothes. Okay, well that's how you know we mean business. We are putting up our hair. Y'all, we've been at this for four hours. How is that even possible? It doesn't even feel like that much time has gone by. And we're not even done clearing the floor yet, so let's do a little progress check. We still have a huge pile here, and we haven't even touched anything in the closet yet. So let's just take a quick little breather and talk about whatnot. They're a live stream auction app where you can buy and sell items. So a little over a week ago, I showed you guys how you can purchase something off of whatnot. And because it is entirely auction based, you actually have to bid on items that you want and I want something. We purchased this from Thrift Queen and I absolutely love it. The quality is a lot better than I thought. It's the brand Arden B and it's a size small. She has an all over plaid print. We have some lace details and I love the cute little bow at the very front. If you did like this, I'm gonna go ahead and link Thrift Queen's profile down below so that way you can check out her feature shows. But Whatnot has live streams happening literally all day long. I can open up the app right now. Literally auctioneers all across the country are going live trying to sell their clothes clothes, their jewelry, their home decor, plushies. So this is where I find all of my 90s Y2K clothing, but recently I've been so obsessed with pins and brooches just because I have a DIY project that I have in mind. And I just have to show this to you because it's so freaking adorable. I only paid $4 for it and it's two little cats playing inside a fishbowl. It's freaking adorable. But I'm also an auctioneer. I try to have a show at least once a week and later this month I'll also make another show so we can rehome all of this clothes that's leaving my closet. And even even if you don't want to buy anything, you're more than welcome to join my live stream just to chill and hang out. It honestly feels like we're on a FaceTime call. So I'll have a link down below where you can download the Whatnot app for the first time and it'll give you $15 in shopping credit that you can either use in my live stream or anywhere else in app. But for the girlies who do have Whatnot, let's try to persuade the other girls to download the app. So let me know what your favorite item that you purchased and who you purchased it from. So don't forget to bookmark my next live stream. Just hit that little button there and then you'll be notified the minute that I go live. Let's find Finally get back to cleaning this closet. The very tippy top here, we have this skirt. I got it in Vegas. It's not a skirt. It's a score. I could never let this go. If it has built-in shorts, it's gonna have to stay. And these pants, love them. They're kind of hard to tell, but they have this like green pinstripe print to them and they're very unique. Oh, I actually really like these. They're like super cyber rave. I'm not entirely sure, but I think I've only worn these like twice in the past year. So I think I'll let them go. They really aren't my style. I'm not into grays or like silvers. Okay, yes I am. I do like silver, just like this one's a little bit more mundane. And then it has this front zip closure. I'm not sure if anyone's really gonna like them because they're culottes. They flare out a lot and they fit more like capri. 
So if no one buys them, that means they just have to come straight back into my wardrobe. Why do you worry so much? Why do you worry so much? This one I did recently get. I tried for like literally 30 minutes to tear off these sequins. And you would imagine all you would have to do is just cut the thread. No, it is like really sewn onto there. And I don't think I'm really vibing with the colors of this, so we're gonna say bye to her. I feel like in every video I always show this top, but she was expensive. I found this small designer on TikTok. I paid a hundred dollars for this shirt, so she's absolutely staying. I know you're too good. You're good for that. Okay, here's one that I'm gonna say bye to. I got this from a mystery bundle from Magic X Kale. They gave me one of like the best bundles ever on my channel, so I'll have it linked down below in the description. And this cardigan has gone to Hawaii and Paris. It's just that I really don't pick her up to wear very often, so maybe that's a sign she needs a new home. Let's talk jorts. I love jorts. I just think it's time to get rid of these just because I already have basic denim ones. This one does have more of a cargo style to it, but I already have so many that look like this. This one is a brand guest, so it's really good. Someone's gonna get lucky on whatnot. We're giving this one up. It's giving all the forest fairy vibes you need. I just don't really wear that often. And I think we're gonna say goodbye to this robe here so i actually separated the gown that came with it because i used it for a thrift lip video um i think it's here or i'll leave it linked down below in the description box but i used this slip as a lining so now all that's left is this robe i think we'll find a new home for her oh guys this was so sweet i love it when you send me thrift finds they remind you of me look what i recently got it's so cute. I'm just waiting for LA to get colder so I could wear this, but it's a cute little sweater with little bunnies on it. I'm not sure if it's Miffy. Maybe it is, huh? Let me check the tag. Oh, there is no tag, but it has a really chunky turtleneck with another little bunny on here. And then we have the three bunnies on the front. That's super adorable. Gotta keep her. We have some Cuso Barcelona. I've never worn this ever, but it's just so cute. And I love that it's pink and orange, this color combo. Is so good. I do see myself wearing it eventually. Just probably not anytime soon since it's still really hot. Let's talk about IMG up because why are their mini skirts so damn short? Like this literally shows so much cheek. So it makes it nearly impossible to wear alone. And because of how micro mini it is and how big my hips are, it serves better as like a layering piece. She needs to go. minutes till five o'clock this is taking so long and i'm so hungry but we only have the last few pieces to go through i heart new york shirt i could never let her go she's so good it's a perfect little piece to wear anytime i don't want to put together like a super cute outfit this one has to stay this is vintage forever 21 but the mesh play on that Hell yeah. And what are you? Oh, this is my Lydia waistcoat. This is a Lydia piece that I picked up at yard sale. Do you guys remember that? Okay, that one's really good. I always use that to style plaid skirts. Here's our last piece, and I already know I wanna keep her. I love the contrast panels, but it's totally black too, and it's super roomy on the hips. Five hours later, and the space is finally clean. Okay, so bad news, we didn't get to the closet, but that's totally okay. We can just do this tomorrow. I know it's a big task anyways, but I do wanna show off the whatnot pile, because I did really good. Like, this is 
a lot of clothes, probably the most that I've ever taken out of my closet before for a closet clean out. And we have some crazy prints in here too. Super proud of myself for that, but I will see you guys tomorrow for the closet. Day two of cleaning out my closet, and today we're actually gonna clean out my closet. I feel like it's not too bad because most of my clothes was on the ground to begin with, but this is just really the clothes that I don't really gravitate towards and don't really pull. Believe it or not, but this is actually pretty empty. This is just the clothes that I don't wear as often. And to be honest, I think there might just be a lot of empty hangers in here. But let's just get started. I'm gonna grab a handful of pieces. I know right away I'm gonna keep this one. I know this is a statement, but I feel like it's so unique that I don't think I'll be able to come across this anytime soon at the thrift. These rompers were part of my dead stock inventory. I pretty much, I think I have one left to sell, but I needed to keep one for myself. It's just so fun. Let's see, what's this here? Oh, can you believe it? This is Jennifer Lopez's line. Like what the heck, that's actually so freaking cute. It is really sexy too, so I feel very womanly anytime I wear it. Here we have some Fredericks of Hollywood. I got this from Ali Vera here on YouTube. She has a Depop. She used to go by Color Club, but I think she changed it recently. And really love this. I think it fits me perfectly. And I'm also only 5'3". If you can tell, this one is a little bit more cropped, so it actually fits my torso perfectly. Okay, another piece that I don't think I could get rid of. I think I've only ever worn this in a video. It's so funny that I love this so much because I think it's a modern brand. This does not look vintage at all, but if you want one for yourself, I'll give you the brand. It's Lumiere, and I have it in a size small, but it runs a little oversized, so I love that. Another one that was part of my inventory, cannot let her go. You can't go wrong with little camis. Oh, guys. This one is so cute. I got this in Iceland when I was out thrifting there. I don't wear this. I really don't wear this. So we're gonna let her go. Another piece that we we're saying bye to, this bustier is really sexy. And if you have small A cup girlies, this is an underwire that you don't have to be intimidated by because it just grabs all the fat that you have in your boob and pushes them up as much as possible. We have this one. I have so much clothes that I've actually sourced from my own inventory. This is another piece. Love her, she's so cute. Oh, and another one. Oh my gosh, yeah, I do keep a lot of my own dead stock pieces that I come across. This is OHS. It's a camo color that I don't really like that much. I just don't like that it brings out a lot of the red in my face, but it does match my hair. So I don't think we can get rid of her. She's just a little too good. into my wardrobe. This might make it a little bit easier. This Cirque du Soleil shirt, I've always been obsessed with. I only got it for $17, which isn't a thrift price, but I did get it at a flea market. And if you look up the retail prices for Cirque du Soleil shirts that are like pretty unique and cool, they get so expensive. So I'm really proud of that purchase. This one, oh my God, guys, I thrifted this. Absolutely love it. Only she doesn't ever get styled. She never leaves this loft. So we're gonna put her onto whatnot. Oh my goodness. I think I'm gonna say bye to these finally. I love collecting these halter necks that have wire necks. And I wanted to start collecting them in different colors, but I don't really like the color purple. And I love red. We're gonna get rid of the purple, but we'll keep the red. Got some lip service, totally love her. I actually got it from one of you guys, so we're gonna keep her for sure. Oh, this is something that I purchased off of Whatnot. It, what size is this? So it's the brand Energy, it's a 90s piece. It's a size medium. And she's gonna be perfect for spring, summer, has an all over gingham print. And then look at this vent on the back. 
it just fits me a little too big. So I think we're gonna say bye to her and find her a new home. All that jazz. Another favorite of mine that's gonna be perfect for the season. My goodness y'all I think it is time I've had this cardigan forever look at how adorable she is she has all these cute little flowers I just feel like okay this is so cottage core that it's just far from my style now so it's time to let her go every closet cleanup video that I've made prior I've always said she's gonna stay she's gonna stay she's too cute to let go the time has come she's gonna find a new home on whatnot oh my goodness okay this might not look like much from far away, but up close, she has so many cute details. The ruffles, the shine and sheen to her. And then look at this lace detail at the back. It's in shape of heart. Come on. This is brand new, never has been worn, but I did remove the tags. On the physical rack, all I have left is this tiny bit. I know for sure I'm gonna keep those. I always keep my matching set. So those we're just gonna set aside. It looks like the rest is just lingerie slips, dresses, and then corsets and skirts. So let's take all of this out and then we'll sort through it. I don't know why, but for some reason I have one of Arthur's Arthur wanted a cosplay for some convention. We never ended up doing it. And now I have his wig in my closet, but this thing looks messed up. It needs to be brushed out for sure, but I'm sure he wants it still. So we'll just put it back. All right, so all of these are dresses. Just looking at them, I probably will be keeping most of them, but there are a handful of them that their time is up. They need to go. The first one that I am letting go of is this purple one. Reason why, it's purple. I really don't wear purple, but look at how awesome. This tag, super cool. I mainly got it because of the star detail and this little stringy stuff, but it has a cool all over print. We have two vents here, but I don't know. It's awesome and I can see that it's such a cool piece, but just not my vibe. We've got some white lace. I have two dresses that look very similar. Only one is just a little bit more mini. I personally like this one a lot more just because I find it easier to style. And this one has more of a button up detail and it has this weird like Velcro neck detail. So we're gonna get rid of her, we're keeping this one. I got married in this. I can't possibly let this go even though these puff sleeves were a freaking nightmare. They kept slipping off because your girl has absolutely no boobs, but this one has so many good memories tied to it, so we can't let her go. We're letting go of this one. Okay, something else that I collect. Floral digital prints. This one is just a little too mini. I love the way that it hugs my body, but she is short. And I'm 5'3", and this still fits me short, so it's time to let her go. I really do like it, though, especially the straps, because they have this, like, double strap detail, and then this cute little keyhole on both sides, but we're letting her go. Another one we're letting go. I can't believe I'm doing this, but she's so cool, especially this back keyhole cutout as well. It just doesn't fit me. It fits a little too big, and I don't think it's very flattering on my body, so bye. <laughs> This one I am gonna keep, but I'm gonna put it in my DIY pile so that way I can put some sort of like images on it. Maybe a whole bunch of like pink bows or pink graphics. Something that will just stand out because the silhouette is so pretty, but I think it needs like a little bit more detail to it. Let's see what else I have in here. Okay, I showed off the wig. I have these really cool hangers here that kind of hold all of my skirts and corsets or bustiers. Yeah, I think I'm gonna pretty much keep all of these. I want them at least in all colors. Like, I know I don't really like purple, but it's Fredericks of Hollywood, and it's like a classic silhouette. Yeah, for sure I'm gonna keep all of these. What's this one? It's all black. Oh yeah, and then we have this one with the red brawl and salt. Okay, yes, gonna keep everything on there. 
we only have oh two skirts on here so we have this pink wrinkled one and then oh some bloomers that i bought at thrift con yeah those were expensive so i should probably keep those and then more mini skirts i've got more prints some fuzzy leopard okay i know these two are very similar but obviously the prints are very different and this one's shorter so it's kind of for like different occasions but it makes sense to keep both of those Sparkly camo, of course. Oh, you know what? We are gonna get rid of both of these. Let me pull these off. My sister actually picked this up for me in Paris the first time she ever went, and she got this while thrifting. It fits so damn short, though. So, I'm sorry, Michelle. I'm gonna sell this one. And then we have a notorious IMG piece. This one, I did buy brand new, never wore it, and you guessed it, it's too damn short. But it's super cute. It's brown and has this, like, pink fade to it on the front and on the back. Okay, back in the skirt section, then we just have this brown corduroy one. Absolutely love it. We have this one with daisies. Do we need this one? Yes, it's a skirt, so we're gonna keep her. And then a little cute black and white micro mini. Denim mini skirts now. We have this cute little cargo style one. And then this one. Yes, those are gonna stay for sure. Everything is totally empty in here. You know you're short when you have a step stool next to your closet. Okay, let's see what we have. I think the best course of action is just to drop everything onto the ground. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll do like a few bits now. We'll just take it all off. Jesus. maxi skirts I didn't even realize so I'm only gonna keep one and it's this one y'all we freaking did it the rack is empty the very top is empty I know for sure I want all of these sweaters oh why is it so blurry there we go I know I want all of these sweaters so I'm not gonna even ruin them they're already perfect time to tackle the shoes I Keeping the boxes would help me keep this a little bit more organized, but somehow I've managed to crush a lot of these boxes, so let's just get through this really quickly. This looks so much worse now that it's outside the closet. I have a problem. I do not need the, oh my goodness. I cannot, I do not wear these shoes. I literally only wear like maybe two pairs of shoes on rotation. Immediately I know I don't want these just because they're a little too obnoxious in color. They don't really go with my wardrobe and they're just a little bit too tight. So those are gonna sit off the side. I already see another. Does this scream Danielle? I feel like this is no longer my style. I think they're cute, very simple, but also look at the backings. They're thrifted, I wore them out once to work, destroyed the heels. I recently got these Merrill shoes and I absolutely love them. I had just gotten back from Paris and didn't wear them because it was raining, so they haven't had their moment yet, but they will soon, so we're gonna put those up there. If you're looking for a boot with a heel that you wanna walk in for hours and not have your feet hurt, get these. They're from LaModa. They're the most comfiest boots that I own, and I absolutely love them, so those are gonna stay for sure. I love these, but they kill my knees so bad, but I feel like they're a staple in my wardrobe, so we have to keep those. Forget, forget, forget all of it. I did 
so much better than I thought. I wanted to get rid of just a handful. 11 pairs of shoes are leaving my closet. So this is what it's looking like now. A lot more manageable. I'm glad I can actually see every style that I own. So y'all, we're pretty much done. All that's left is to put all the clothes back. So we go about the days as you might miss I can never choose a way I'm a space If I have to use my brain, think I'm pretty brilliant That's an awful lot to say, cause I said I'm new It's 6 15 p.m. I have lost the flip in my curls My makeup has been sweated off And I started my period But at least now my closet is clean and look at all this space at the very top here we had no space look at all this my rack is kind of cut up into three sections because of where the poles being held a lot of space there a lot of space here and here as well everything's looking so good and it gets even better let me show you the pile of clothes that i am selling on whatnot 11 pairs of shoes who knows how much clothes but look at how massive it is i know this has been a long one so thank you so much if you made it this far and hopefully this gave you a little bit of motivation to also purge your closet and get more space up in there i know this is a lot of clothes so i don't know if i could fit all of this into one whatnot live stream so i might have multiple if there is something that you're really wanting just make sure that you bookmark the live stream and then you'll get notified the minute I go live don't forget I do have that link down below in my description box where you can download whatnot for the first time and it'll give you $15 in shopping credit to use in my live stream or anywhere else in app but I'm gonna go grab some idol and something to eat now thank you so much again for watching as always I do post videos at least once a week I'll see you on the next one bye